as a cinematographer, you want to have 12 lenses in your set that are all matching. And it's very hard to do with that technology. So do you see that happening at the moment? I'll say one thing, which is we run the risk of the, the dog chasing his own tail, right? And then we certainly don't want to let um, optical design just stall and, and accept, you know, uh, subpar uh, engineering, right? So we don't, we, we want to continue that. And like you said, repeatability, dependability, uniformity, like you want to have a set of that. Uh, so yeah, that's tricky slope, you know? So like we're saying, we don't care about perfect anymore optical designers. And they're like, at first outrage, and then they're thinking, cool, like I can slack off now? I don't know, yeah. Would you have a comment on that, Jay? I, I think in, in part of what I've been asking you know, the manufacturers to sit down and get my opinion is to have a, a series of lenses that are uh, variable. So uh, just to add another ring on the lens to be able to adjust spherical aberration mm -hmm. uh, is extraordinary, and have it calibrated. Yeah. so that you can run it through a whole series and you have the choice if you need it to be pristine and clean great you put it to, to zero to perfect if you want it to be a little bit more aberrant then you can dial that in yeah. um i i also have seen cinematographers and in my taste i like to see a lens that has variability that wide open is going to have a lot of veiling glare but a stop to a stop and a half close is going to clean that up mm -hmm. so very quickly especially in digital where we have the variability in exposure to be able to have that versatility in a lens to say, oh, on this shot, I don't like the veiling glare, so I'm gonna stop down a little bit, but on the next shot, I want more. I can have the same lens and open it up slightly and get a completely different look. Uh, I think that's where we should be heading is to have lenses that have that adjustment in them, um, that we don't have to break apart and start putting shims into air yeah. cap or lick an element and throw it back in there. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever it is that we're doing to tune these things. Uh, talking about this, uh, we seem to be talking about the lens designer. And what I thought was so fantastic about the book is that you let them talk. Whether they were still with us, you at least found their archive and you found their things and, you know, the, the dick feathers, the tuck fit tucks and Fujimoto, you know. And of course, we still are blessed with having Ian around. Uh, yeah. Talk a little bit about some of these guys that you have researched and, and what their opinions were and how you really brought their art to. That was something that was, I think, first inspired uh, for both of us by uh, Rudolf Kingslake's book on yeah. the history of photographic lenses. He had a whole section at the back of the book spotlighting the optical designers, which we found fascinating, uh, and realized that there's very little information out that on uh, Tak Miyagashima, or yeah. on an Ian Neal, or an Arthur Cox, or an Arthur Wormersham. Um, so we really wanted to put a spotlight on these individuals where we could find their information. And some of it was incredibly fascinating. And yeah. Really unique people. Yeah, Jacobson yeah. Uh, had such an, an incredible life uh, to be able to see, wow, wait a minute, he went through all of these different stages and, and stumbled into optical design. And for a lot of these early designers, it was a, a hobby or, you know, something that they kind of fell into that created these things that we live by. So we found that fascinating and put color and story and history and life into a technical book. Yeah, I mean, that was some of the more fascinating aspects of being a sort of a self-confessed sort of nerd uh, on, on technical things, uh, it was really fascinating to put uh, the human face on what we were actually researching. And, and yeah, some of these people had such amazing lives and um, dabbled in all different avenues of innovation and creativity.